be Five pounds of courage, buddy base, ten pants with a gold tee uh, This a war dance, a victory step A raw stance is a gift, and you insist it's my rep John Cena trademark, y'all are so so We talked about the I am here with uh, rapping star Trademark uh, Trademark, we have some few questions we're going to ask you uh, He's also the cousin of John, uh, WWE superstar and champion John Cena uh, Trademark, uh, how are you doing right now? How are you doing today? I'm good, man. I'm actually doing really good. I'm uh, thrilled about doing this interview with you guys, and uh, looking forward to where we're going with it, man. Hit me. All right. Um, so, uh, trademark, uh, we got some questions. Uh, how did you get into? How did you and uh, Cena, uh, John Cena, get into the music business? Well, you know, it's kind of just a natural progression because John and I are so into music and hip hop in general. And you know, when he first started to uh, to wrestle again, I was actually getting ready to put out. Um, short EP of an album and you know it just kind of happened that his character was going to use his, his rapping talents at the same time so it was kind of just a, a natural thing and it just kind of happened oh that's awesome that's good so uh, what's it like uh, you said you, what's it like doing some concerts like on on tour Do you, have you done some of those yeah we did some it was just really really difficult doing shows um, and keeping up with John's uh, WWE schedule because we have to hit the same studio you said uh, we talked to you earlier and you said you're gonna be in a studio uh, uh, do you have a studio recording and um, what programs do you use to make your beats and in instrumental well, uh, I'm sorry what, what did you ask about the beats what, uh, what programs yeah yeah how do you make your beats and in instrumentals man a lot, a lot of the stuff I make the studios I go to actually I'm working with uh, with Freddie Fox aka Bumpy Knuckles uh, he's the main guy I work with in New York I have a couple of studios in the Boston area that I work in but um well, I make like beats. A lot of the stuff that, that I'm doing right now um, is sample, is uh, sample heavy. Um, I'd like to have live, you know, live musicians, but they're really tough to find, and, and the ones I do have are unreliable. Um, so I'm doing a lot of sampling right now, and you know, whatever catches my ear, I just go with it. You know, like I, I was thinking about sampling, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, sort of like Teen Spirit, man. You know, it's just stuff like that. Like you'll hear something and it has that sound, you're like, I want to grab that again. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you're saying. That's awesome. That's great. Uh, so, uh, do you have any new CDs or any, any uh, new stuff coming out? Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm working on a, um, a collection right now. Actually, I have it done. It's called Inferiority Complex. Uh, it's going to be out actually in about a month, a month and a half. It's, gonna, it's basically a full length album, um, 12 tracks with some uh, intros. And then there's also going to be a surprise CD um, going along with it. I'm not going to really say too much about it, but uh, use your imagination. You can probably uh, figure out who's going to be on it. Oh, awesome. Awesome. And so, but if anybody wants to buy your CDs, uh, where can we purchase them? Well, I'm going to be selling them um, on my MySpace page, which is, uh, you know, the MySpace backslash uh, the trademark official, which is T-H-A, trademark, T-R-A-D-E-M-A-R-C official uh, site. And then uh, I'm also going to have uh, a local record company around Boston area distribute, so we should get it around the country. Um, you know, when... Uh, when it actually comes out, I'll have all the information on my MySpace page available. Awesome. We're looking forward to that. And uh, you had a CD come out, it came out a few years ago uh, with John Cena. What was it like working with on that CD? Was it like a dream come true for you? Well, you know what the thing is? I mean, John's my cousin, so dream come true. <laughs> it, it would have been a nightmare a little bit for both of us. I mean, it was, don't get me wrong. I, you know, we love each other. We had such a good time doing it, man. We're like brothers. But at the same time, the schedule, I mean, it was, it was crazy, man. We had, we had redone that album like three or four times. Um, and we had to keep redoing it for the WWE. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, it was a dream come true in the sense that I got to do something, you know, with my cousin and, uh, and actually sell it and, and put it out there. Yeah, that's awesome. We got the CD. It's a great, it's a great CD. And, um, now, uh, what, uh, what programs do you use? Do you know what programs, like, you use for, uh, for recording, like, what do you recommend? 
made a music video which was uh, called Right Now and you were in it and what was it like making that music video? people like to ask you and um do you see yourself as a manager or a wrestler with John or what, what would you know what's funny man uh, we tried to explore some stuff in that area at the time when we were doing the music and, and story wise it just never worked out I was supposed to get beat up a little bit and, and you know and, and jump into the story but but I, you know I never really saw myself as a wrestler now when I, when I ever was out no you know I mean I, 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 you know I do a kind of fighting and doing like a little Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and all this stuff so I mean I can't hold my own you know yeah. but uh, I never really saw myself in that line I wanted to be an entertainer but I wanted to stay more to the hip hop oh I see I see uh, I see now uh, were you in the movie of the Marine did you make a special guest appearance no uh, <laughs> <laughs> no that was you know that, that had been done for years man you know that movie I remember John shooting that movie they were shooting that uh God, the Red Sox were, uh, were in the World Series and about to win it all, man. And I, I he was over in Australia shooting, and the we get it. He was the only one in the bar watching the game. Wow. So that, that had been done for a while, and there, there was never any talk about me making a cameo, but I would love to have done so. Yeah, that would have been, been great. Uh, I heard uh, through the rumors that uh, John's making another movie, and uh, will you be making a guest appearance, hopefully, right? <laughs> I hope so, and uh, I really don't know if there's any truth to the rumor. I mean, you know, you could basically uh, jump to your own conclusions and assume that they're going to. I mean, he's their guy right now. Yeah. But um, I'm also working with uh, Kurt Angle now. He's the kind of the guy I'm working with a lot more. And I know that uh, he's going to be in a bunch of stuff coming up. And uh, I'm exploring options uh, to work with him a little bit more. Uh, can you tell us what uh, what you got you what you and Kurt Angle are doing, or is that just uh, not confidential information? Uh-huh. Right now, it's, a little, it's kind of under wraps. There's really nothing, uh, you know, that's being released, you know, uh, press-wise. But, you know, in the future, just uh, keep your eyes open and, and, you know, expect anything. So, you know, and uh, Kurt's going over there and been working with TNA, and they're doing an amazing job plugging away and, and trying to take on the WWE, and, you know, I hope they do. I really hope. Yeah, I think it'd be best for our sport uh, for something to happen, you know. They need that, yeah, they really do. And anything needs an opposition, you know, it really does. When, when it becomes a, a, you know, a one-horse race, it, it gets pretty boring. Yeah, that's right. So, um, will you be making any appearances in TNA, or do you, you don't know yet? Um, I'm not really sure. We're uh, we'll exploring some options with uh, some of the acts that, uh, that, that could use the hip-hop touch or anything, uh, you know, with me. But um, nothing of that has, has been uh, hammered down, you know. I'm trying to release a track on one of their CDs right now. But, um, you know, whenever I have information, it'll definitely be on uh, the Kirk website and my own uh, my own MySpace, which is uh, the official, the trademark official. So just keep your uh, ears perked up on that. Awesome. Uh, we also got some other questions submitted by our fans. And uh, one person asked, when you and John were growing up, did John ever give you any wrestling moves? Like, did he ever put you in the STFU or the FU? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He was always skinny, and I was always bigger than him, so I was just beating him up. I mean, it's, you know, I mean, we always had the, you know, the wrestling stuff going on, but it was usually uh, him and his brothers beating each other up. I was kind of the referee, like, I would tell him to go slap his brother Matt in the face, and then I'd just sit back and watch the wrestling ensue. He was never really getting him off too much, but I will tell you that since then, he has, uh, he has pressed me over his head multiple, multiple times. He's, uh, he's a beast, man. He's a machine. Wow. So maybe when you were a kid, uh, 